My passion for the boa constrictor has taken me on a quest. I'm going to be all about confidence. I'm going to show my hands. Distribution from all boa constrictors. It goes from South America through Central America all the way up into Mexico. We'll transition them onto adult mice. And after just a few short months on adult mice, you'll notice a huge increase. You don't want to put a huge lump in your animal starting the moment. If you follow our same methods of feeding, these your boas from babies to adults, you're going to want to find it. So you kind of got to gauge each animal every week. On a water dish, a lot safer than they would on a paper towel. A fact that we have found is that when the snakes... If you're having problems with your baby boas, it's going to be one of two things. It, then you're going to have a lot more success keeping that animal alive longer. This will dramatically save the lifespan of your males. By your hot spot in the cage, it allows the animals to access the meat if needed and properly digest the food. They lie on top of each other. The male doesn't like to be separate from the female. Quite often, we'll notice them, and I will give you some tips later on in the segment on what you can do if you have problems starting your male. Exert a lot of energy. This will cause them to lose weight. It lasted for well over 12 hours before the male took a break female ratio with great success, and I believe the lifespan of these males will become a lot longer over time, many as 30 to 40 babies in one season. This will make up for the other seasons of the python breeding, where I'll have one male that can breed up to as many as 8 to 10 females. So you have two females yielding you litters of approximately 18 young per litter. You're getting approximately the same production out of your boas as you would be your python you will be able to get about 70% of those females if you have good breeder males. It's about lifespan and what you can expect out of your breeding cycle with your females. Let's get back to talking about males. Late, they realize that their body has enough size to carry their pregnant. In a few weeks, the female is going to ovulate. If a female is not going to ovulate, she can, if a female does ovulate, she is either going to give live birth if you missed the actual ovulation and couldn't go back 120 days. Why it's important to write down the ovulation date. After the female ovulates and sheds, she is keeping her body properly thermoregulated so that she can internally incubate her babies. When females are gravid, we paint a good healthy weight on the female. If he has babies, I'm gonna come back and I'm going to have to get some. No one will question that while Jeremy Stone is alive, that he... I bet you she'll give him right over there on the cool side. Breeders have a tendency to want to overstretch our males, and I understand that. But if you want to maintain a healthy collection, you really have to keep your eye out on the animals. Make sure they're not overstretched and overbreed. But as I started to film this girl, she took about three hours to finish her babies. She paused. Instead of this one, he would have died because it's an albino. There's no way I could have saved it unless it was normal. He, he... I'm just going to show you an example of a male that bred and bred and bred last year. Central Americans, a little bit different. This is the size and girth that I'm looking for if I want to breed a young female. Males really will expend a lot of energy. They'll twist, they'll pull, they'll tuck. The great thing about working with the boa constrictor is you can make such a wide variety of looks. So if you think your female at home has some special looks, you may want to try your hand at breeding. And just that six months, from that six month to yearling size, they grow a ton. From the six months to a year age, you're going to see a lot of growth. He again has been only getting one meal a week. We're going to go ahead and show you the size that we feed this. In another six months, this animal will definitely be ready to breed. Not in my hand, dude. That's terribly unsafe. Practices to show on a video. Do not feed in your hand.